Hello, hello, welcome to Heal and Ascend to Row. I hope everyone's doing well. Today is going to be a general love reading. So let's find out what's going on with you and the person that is on your mind, okay? Before I begin today's video, if you guys are interested, I am doing a limited time offer promo, 15% off all of my love readings using the promo code AWAKENING. So it'll be down in the description box down below. Uh, but the other thing I just wanted to say is just a quick message about those of you who are in spiritual connections, uh, whether it's a soulmate or a twin flame, some of you guys have been emailing me about your stories or about kind of the um, situations that you're in. And I just want to say this, soulmate or not, twin flame or not, divine feminine, divine masculine, whoever it may be, it does not mean that you put up with anything that is toxic or abusive or does not serve you. You always want to connect to your own intuition and align yourself with the people that are going to lift you up, the people that are going to empower you, the people that are going to put in the time and energy that you deserve. So regardless of whether you have a spiritual connection with someone, doesn't mean that you put up with um, behavior that's not acceptable. Okay, I really want to make that clear because I think sometimes people use like this spiritual terminology as an excuse to stay in situations that are not healthy for them. Okay, so I just want to put that out there. Um, but let's take a look at the past energy of you and the person that's on your mind, okay? Keep in mind this is general, so it may not resonate with everyone. Okay, so what are we dealing with here? Past energy. Tell me about the past energy for those who are watching. Okay. It looks like in the past someone was stuck in a third party here. Okay, um, I have the hanged man reverse with the three of pentacles. I think someone was really struggling to let go of a third party or really having a hard time surrendering, releasing a third party situation. Okay, if this was your person, um, I do think that this, I always see the three of pentacles as like someone who's with someone but watching someone else. Because if you notice here, these two people are together, but this one person is looking over here. So I get the sense that um, whether this was you or your person, someone was in a third party situation in the past, kind of thinking about or watching someone else, but not wanting to let go of the third party dynamic, okay? So let's see their current energy towards you. What's their current energy towards you? Yeah, okay. This could possibly be why I felt called to say this in the beginning um, about you know staying in certain dynamics, because I am first of all getting a third party. Second of all, I'm getting the magician in reverse. So this indicates some sort of manipulation, manipulative behavior. That's their energy towards you. They're manipulating you or they're in this energy of um, being kind of manipulative when it comes to you, okay? So I'm not seeing a lot of honesty here. I'm not seeing a lot of personal integrity right now when it comes to your person. What's your energy? Yeah, so you guys are actually feeling this. I genuinely feel like I, I put out that message for someone who needed to hear that today. Okay, I really do feel like that message came out at the beginning for a reason. Um, okay, so we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse, so I'm definitely getting this energy of, you guys are feeling kind of abandoned by this person out in the cold. Some of you guys are wanting to get out of this energy with the Five of Pentacles in reverse, but I'm just getting this energy where um, like them towards you as manipulation, so you're feeling this, okay? You're feeling kind of out in the cold or like um, abandoned even, all right? Let's see, so what is the, why is this all happening? Let's see, why is this all happening? The Nine of Wands, clarify? Why is the Nine of Wands here? Okay, so this seems like it's a connection that's been long standing or long going here. Like the Nine of Wands is a feeling of exhaustion, okay? Feeling like you've been through a lot. So I feel like you and this person maybe have a history or you've been through a lot with this person where maybe there's been a lack of commitment because I'm seeing the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So this could be a situation where um, maybe you've been through the ringer with this person essentially, but even though all of that has happened, I'm getting here that there's still been a lack of an offer or a lack of a solid commitment here with you and this person. So let's see, how do they see you right now? How do they see you? How do they see you? The Queen of Wands. So they're seeing you as very attractive right now. They're seeing you as very confident. Um, you guys know the Queen of Wands. I always see this card as someone who's coming through as just very much in her power. Um, this is the card of like, I always see this as physical attraction with the Queen of Wands, but also this confidence, okay? So they're seeing you very confident right now. How are you seeing them? How are you seeing them? The Ten of Swords in reverse, okay? So you're seeing this person as in pain um, or going through something painful right now. Let's clarify why you're seeing them as the Ten of Swords 
For some of you guys, you see this person as kind of in like a victim mentality, like they're in pain, but maybe not wanting to take responsibility, like the victim card. Uh, Ten of Swords in Reverse can often indicate that, like you're in pain, but you're not doing anything to change it. Yeah. Okay, look at this. So this is interesting. The way you guys are seeing them is how they actually are because they're coming through towards you as manipulation, magician in reverse, and you're right about that. Ten of Swords with the King of Wands in reverse, okay? Um, so I'm getting a sense that you're seeing this person as being, you see them as manipulative, you see them as controlling, but you also see them as in pain. So you might know that the reason why they're manipulative is because they're in pain. Or for some of you guys, you might think that they're actually getting their karma. Like you might see that they're in pain, but it's because of their manipulation and they're because of their manipulative ways. So take that how it resonates. But I will say, and this comes out a lot, but the way you perceive this person is how they actually are. So if you're seeing them as kind of being controlling or manipulative or lying or whatever the case may be, that is how their that is their energy towards you. Now, interesting because they're seeing you really in your power. They're seeing you very confident right now, Queen of Wands. So let's see, where is this heading? Where is this heading? What do we see here, Spirit? Where is this heading? Where is this heading? I do see someone's going to be coming in with some fast communication. We have the Knight of Swords coming through here. Okay, so I would expect communication or I'm seeing some sort of communication. Just be, be, be wary. I don't want to keep saying be careful because I feel like that keeps coming through in the readings, but I honestly, that's what I keep getting, um, which is interesting. I don't know if there's just some sort of collective energy that needs to be cleared in terms of like manipulation, standing your ground, boundaries. Maybe there's a lesson here about boundaries or something, but this is coming through a lot lately, this idea of like being careful because... When someone's energy towards you is the manipulation and the outcome is the Knight of Swords, I'm seeing communication, but that might be tied with some sort of manipulative communication. Let's clarify. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Why is the Knight of Swords here? The Page of Swords with the Five of Cups. Someone's feeling regret. Someone's. Well, I, feel, I think it's your person's watching you. Um, we have the page of swords with the five of cups here. So I'm getting a lot of spying. I feel like someone's been spying and feeling regret and now wants to rush in knight of swords. Okay. I was going to say, and I don't know if I said it or not. I can't remember. Oh yeah. I think I did. I was saying this person watches you because I see, see how this three of pentacles, like I always see this card as like, there's some, someone is with someone, but watching someone else. Does that make sense? I do think this person watches you because they are seeing you as the queen of wands. They might be watching you and feeling regret. So they are going to rush in, but I, I, they're, man, they're being manipulative. We have the magician in reverse. Let's see. What are their intentions? What are their intentions for those who are watching this? What are their intentions? What are their intentions? Three of swords in reverse. Clarify this. What are their intentions? I don't think this person has an intention of a positive intention. I mean, the three of swords in reverse with the ace of wands in reverse. If you have, okay, I'll say this. If you have a history of being on and off with this person, I think this person, it's, they don't have any intention of changing that right now. I think this person, honestly, I hate to say this, but I, um, it's almost like this person, I feel like they're okay with breaking your heart, which I don't like that. Like the three, like, okay, when I get, what are their intentions? We have the three of swords. It is in reverse, okay, which is kind of better. Um, like the three of swords is like trying to heal, like trying to heal from something um, or healing from heartbreak. But I feel like this person, I'm not getting the best intentions, especially with the ace of wands in reverse. It's like this person is okay almost with missing an opportunity with you or they're in this energy of like it could even just be because of the manipulative energy like i feel like their intentions could just end up being that they're going to break your heart or that they might just cause you pain because if you look at this person here like they're crying so i don't think this person has the best intentions right now um towards you let's get a card here let's get an oracle card Spirit, tell me more about this connection. What else do we need to know? 
We have the winter card here. Yeah, so you might um, hear from this person in the winter time or there might be some sort of change in the winter time. Um, Oops, see, way too many cards. Hold on, I just had some fall on the ground. Yeah, I just saw New Direction and I also see the return card, but I'm gonna pull. Um, but I do think something significant might happen in the winter time for you and this person, but let's just see here. What's going on? What do we need to know about this connection? Wow, so many cards are coming out. Just one spirit? Just one, thank you. Yeah, balancing the scales. Let's clarify. Why is balancing the scales here? The Eight of Pentacles. I think, okay, the sense that I'm getting is that um, in the winter time, because we're like in fall right now, so I feel like in the winter there's an opportunity for some sort of balance. This person might want to might want to put more work into the situation or might be putting more work into the situation. Um, let's get one more, hold on. Because I'm just, I'm not getting the best intentions from this person, so I just want to see something here. Yeah, exactly. Because, okay, so you guys might not know, but like I intuitively read, so I do know all of the meanings of the cards, and I do often read the meanings of the cards, but I also will pick up on a vibe of a card. So it's like, I'll pick up a card, and sometimes it'll be a positive card, but for some reason, I'll pick up a different energy from it, like a negative energy. Um, and it's because I, I feel the vibes of things, if that makes sense. So the reason why I wanted to pull more cards is because I do, I get the sense that this person is going to try to come back into your life, maybe after some time, because the winter card can indicate like stagnation, and try to restore balance, like eight of pentacles, putting in that work, putting in that dedication, but for some reason I got a weird vibe from this. So I wanted to pull again, and here we are at the three of cups. I, I feel like... There could still be some sort of third party influence here, whether it is another person, a drug or drugs, addictions, like um I think people often forget that like addictions can be a third party in a connection, you know? Like if you have someone who's committed to their alcohol or committed to their drugs, like it's hard for them to commit to a, a connection. But I'm getting something here where I do think that this person will come back around to you at some point to try to restore balance, to try to work on things. But I'm still getting that there's a third party influence because their energy towards you is manipulative. I'm gonna get the advice. Let's see, what's the advice for you? What's the advice for those who are watching? What's the advice for those who are watching still? What do they need to know at this time? Yeah, see, exactly, like, okay. Round and round. So I'm gonna read this to you guys. Um, I do know the meaning, but it's been a while since I've had this card come out. Yeah, round and round, okay. So, let's see here. So it says, are you wondering how did I get here again? Does something feel familiar right now in your dynamics with others? Did I not say that at the very beginning of the reading? Um, maybe a little too familiar. Don't be surprised you found yourself repeating an old story with the same sort of person who may not look similar, but who attracted you because of your easy acquaintance with his or her, his or her qualities. Your relationship is a mix of what is good and what is a potentially challenging. You have been drawn to this person through the perfection of spirit's plan for your evolution. You may have circled back to an accustomed spot, a familiar place, but that's fine as you get to do things only differently this time. For you learned something of great value since the last time around. How will you choose to behave now that you're aware? Remain curious and stay out of the blame game. Okay, yeah, exactly. So I feel like if you have a connection with this person where it is something where it's around and around and it's the same story over and over again, Spirit is wanting you to choose a different path. Learn from your mistakes or learn from the less, like learn from what you've experienced and make a wise decision. That's all I'm gonna say. Because I feel like you guys have to use your own discernment. I do think that this person has been watching you and is feeling regret. And I do think that this person is going to reach out to you, contact you, um, chase you down, whatever they need to do, they're going to. Um, and I think they might give you the impression that they're gonna work on things or put some sort of effort into the connection, but I am getting a sense of a third party here. Okay, so what do you want to do with that, right? So just keep that in mind. And at the very beginning of this reading, I was talking about breaking out of dynamics, unhealthy dynamics. So that could be relevant as well. Um, but that's what I'm seeing, guys, okay? So I feel like you have an opportunity to break out of some sort of unhealthy cycle here. And this person might be representing a cycle that you're needing to break out of because you're coming through as the Queen of Wands, which is quite nice energy. 
okay? Um, so if you're wanting to maintain this energy, definitely make decisions that align with you. But a spirit's also saying not to play the blame game as well. So it's not blaming your person for um, their actions or their choices. It's not about that. It's about choosing what's best for you, right? So it's not like saying to someone, look what you did. It's not about that. It's about recognizing that people make their own choices based on their own experiences, their own things that they need to heal. But it doesn't mean that you have to stay in those situations. Does that make sense? Um, that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting here. Okay, so it's probably why I intuitively picked up on saying that message at the very beginning. But this, this might not be for everyone, but if it is, um, definitely comment down below your personal story. And if you guys are needing help on your own self-love journey, I do have a course called Become a Love Magnet. And um, everyone that signed up has been super grateful that they signed up and they've learned so much from it. So if you guys are interested, I'll leave the, just the links in the description box down below, okay? But other than that, I'm sending you absolute love and light and I wish you all of the best on your journeys. Take care.